Johannesburg, Cricket South Africa will begin the process to find a new chief executive this week, while Thabang Moreau will stay on as acting CEO for the next two months as CSA seek resolutions to a number of key issues, including the establishment of the Global League T20. Moreau was notified about the continuation of his role as interim CEO at a board meeting at the weekend. The extension means Moreau will have acted in the position for 10 months, a lengthy period that independent media understands has caused great concern among many on CSA's board of directors. The board was understood to be split, 50-50, about asking Moreau to continue in an acting capacity, but given the number of crucial items on the agenda it was felt that having him stay in the position would cause the least amount of ructions. Top of the agenda this week was the negotiations over the Memorandum of Understanding with the players' representative, the Saw Cricketers Association. Moreau was locked in a two-day meeting this week with Saka over the Mo, which among other things determines contracts for all players in the country, including the national team and domestic players. Moreau said he was hoping the deal would be wrapped up this week, but left room for further negotiations until the final deadline of June 30th. If it is possible for CSA and Saka to agree on some of the contentious issues, then the Mo will probably be signed in the next two weeks, he said. An announcement regarding the GLT20 is expected later this week, but again CSA finds itself in a quagmire as the original owners await compensation following the postponement of the event last October. CSA are understood to want to launch the new T20 competition this summer, although it is believed it will be a lot more diluted than the glamorous event envisaged last year. Meanwhile, CSA has added an extra expense to its already heavily constrained finances by resolving to increase the number of franchises that will compete at domestic level. There are currently six, but at the weekend CSA President Chris Nanzani said the board had resolved to increase the number of franchises, although at this stage it is not known by how many and that any additions would not occur this coming season. The resolution was passed at the recent transformation in Daba to expand the number of franchises. This was agreed by the board and the provincial members, said Moreau. The star like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter.